Hi guys, welcome to this new video. Now, if you're just joining this YouTube channel and you're wondering what's this channel about, this channel basically talks about everything about Facebook ads, Instagram ads. Generally, we discuss everything about advertising and we also talk about things that has to do with growing your business using paid advertising. So if you're just joining us, please leave a subscribe, please subscribe, please turn on the notification bell, like, share, comment. I mean, do all these things that you should do. Thank you so much for doing that. And I want to appreciate you all for doing that. Now, this video is for beginners. So if you are a pro, please shift. This is not for you. This video is for beginners, for people who don't know exactly how to get started with Facebook ads. I want to just share a few things that you should do as a beginner. If you've never run Facebook ads before, or you don't even know how to set up your account to even run ads, you just keep hearing this thing about ads, ads. They keep talking about ads everywhere you go to, but you don't even know how to get started. You have a Facebook account, you have an Instagram account, but you don't even know exactly what to do. This video is for you, right? So let's dive straight into it right now i'm going to share my screen um I'm, now i'm sure you can see my screen what we want to just do is i want you to first of all go to your facebook account now you would need a laptop to do this if you don't have a laptop please look for someone that can borrow your laptop after now you can always do without it if you want to but you need a laptop because what we want to do now is to first of all set up your account we want to set up your account create your ad account, all those things. We want to do all those things, right? So what you're going to do is to go to your Facebook account, right? This is your Facebook account, right? So um, now you must have created a Facebook page. If you have not created it, go to pages, right? Create new page. Now, once you create a new page, um, just follow the steps. It's very easy. Just follow all the steps, put your page name, create the page and all those things, right? So once you're done creating the page, the page appears something like this right the page looks exactly like this the next step is you want to connect your facebook page to your instagram account so we're connecting your facebook page to your instagram account now to do that you're going to come here now once you've gone to the page click switch so it's going to switch to this page so just hold on once it switches then we do something you come to manage where you see manage here that has the spanner and the tools um, logo so once you click on it scroll down right you need to come to linked accounts when you get to linked account what you're going to do is to link your instagram account to that account now my account is already linked which is why you see my instagram account here but if it, yours is not linked you will not see it there to show you connect instagram so you just click on it and you log into your instagram account basically once you do that it will link your account you can also link your whatsapp if you want to do that that is if you have the whatsapp business app you can link your WhatsApp to your Facebook also so that uh, people can also message you directly from your Facebook page. Okay. So once that is done, then we're going to go. So, I mean, once it is, it's done, it will show like this. If it doesn't show like this, please, you didn't do it well. Once it shows like this, you're good to go. The next thing you're going to now go to is to go to a website called business.facebook.com. Business.facebook.com. Now, immediately you have connected your page. Your business of Facebook.com should display exactly like this, right? You should see a page like this that says Meta Business Suits. Now, once you get to this page, the next thing you have to do is to do your setup. Now, we've created your page. We've connected it to your Instagram. What we want to now do is to set up your ad accounts and every other thing. So, we're going to click all tools. You see by the side here, all tools. Please look out for the hamburger sign. This three line is called the hamburger sign. So look out for that hamburger sign if you're not seeing all tools. So click all tools, then you will navigate to a platform called, um, you're going to navigate to billing, not billing and payments. You can navigate to account quality, navigate to account quality. Don't worry, I'm going to show you what we're going to do from there. Now, when you navigate to account quality, Come back to the hamburger sign where you see all tools and go to business settings, right? Business settings is where we want to get to. Now, for me, I have multiple accounts, so that's why you're seeing this, okay? So I'm going to click the one that I want to use. But if you don't have multiple pages, you would most likely see just one page, which is the one I'm showing you right now. So so let's say you click, um, so you're now on the business settings. Now, 
the business settings is where we do everything that has to do with the settings of your account. The business setting is where that is done. Okay. So once you click the business settings, the next thing you want to do is to come to pages. So what we want to do here is to confirm if our page is good. If everything about our page is great, this is what we want to just do here. So when you click pages, you should see your Facebook page here. Your Facebook page should be listed on that page. If it's not listed, click add and then click add a page. But the moment you have connected your Instagram and your Facebook, you should see your page here. Okay. So once that is done, come to Instagram accounts. You should also see your Instagram account there. Right. You should also see your Instagram account there. Now, once that is also done and you can confirm your Instagram account is there, go to add account, right? Add account and then we create an ad account. I actually have a video where I explained how to create a Naira prepaid ad account. You can check um, somewhere, anywhere, anywhere above, you will see the video um, to create the uh, prepaid ad account. So I'm, I'm not going to be repeating that. You can just go and watch the video on how to create the Naira prepaid ad account and you can follow that step to create the ad account. So once you've created the ad account, the next thing you want to do is to give it um, all the necessary um, approvals. You know how to do that already if you watch the video about the Naira prepaid ad account. So once you do that, your account is set up well and you are ready to run your first advert. Hooray! Yes, you're ready to run your first advert. Now, if you've gotten to this level, if you've watched to this level, thank you so much. I think you should give me a thumbs up. And I also think you should also comment leave a comment and tell me exactly um what what you like about the video what you're enjoying currently about the video okay so um now the next thing we're going to do is to run our first advert so we're going to click the hamburger sign again and then we're going to go to ads manager so we're going to go to ads manager now the ads manager platform is the platform where we run the ad majorly so we'll go to the ads manager platform and then you see it's this is the ad manager platform you see campaigns ad set ads now let me say that when you run your ads there are three levels to your ads the first is the campaign level the ad set level and the ad level just know that campaign level ad set level ad level good job now now that you know of course your prepaid ad account must be at the top the one you created using the video i told you about yes it should be at the top now once your prepaid ad account is there the next thing is you see the green button that says create now let me just show you around the dashboard first before we create now you can see the bid strategy you can see the budget you can see attribution results result basically is your um i mean it's what you're getting how many plays how many clicks that's your result right the reach is how many people have seen your advert at least once impression is the total number of times your advert was seen on screen so um you can see this ad i'm running for two thousand and so let's get so that's um the cost per result is how much you are spending per the result that you're getting so the if you're getting nine thousand eight hundred or something this is the amount i'm spending to get this result okay this is the amount i spent totally about twelve thousand plus totally right and my advert is remaining one day so this is the time it's going to end good so the next thing we're going to do is to click create right we're going to click the create button to create our advert now let me explain this. Once you create your advert, you're going to land on a screen that says choose a campaign objective. Now, see the campaign objective basically like your goal, what you want to achieve with the advert. So um, there are different options here. You can achieve awareness. You can achieve traffic, engagement, leads, ad promotion, sales, quite a lot of things, right? Now, let me go straight to the point and give you what I believe works for me, right? The most common one that I use a whole lot is the engagement why i feel the engagement covers almost everything with the engagement i can achieve almost everything that the other ones can do i can achieve it with the engagement so that's why i use majorly the engagement option right so once this is done um the next thing you want to do is to come uh choose engagement and then click continue so once you click continue it's going to open up a page like this remember that i told you there are three levels to your ad i said the campaign level the ad set level and the ad level remember that so you can see them here campaign ad set ad yes so while in the campaign level basically what you do here is just to put the name of your campaign it doesn't matter any name just for you to remember any name okay so once you put the, the name of your campaign the next thing you want to do is to just click next 
right? Click next. Now we are in the second level, which is the ad set level. So the ad set level also, I'm going to put a name. I'll just put another name, test. I'll just put test ad set, right? Test ad set, okay? Now, once I put test ad set, the next thing is to choose where I want to drive conversion, right? We're running an engagement advert. So it's asking, where do you want to drive this engagement that you're trying to run? Is it to your app? You want people to message you on Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger. So basically, if you want to run Instagram DM advert, this is where you do it. So um, if you want this or you want people to watch your video and interact with your video, this is when you choose the second option, right? If you want people to come to your website, choose the third option, right? If you want to grow your Facebook page, choose the last option. So you can see that there are quite a lot of options for you to choose from. So let's choose the messaging apps option. Now we'll come down, just ensure your Facebook page and your Instagram page is showing here. Then if you want the, the, the message to come into your Instagram DM, choose only Instagram. If you want it to come to your WhatsApp also, choose WhatsApp. If you want, to, want it to come to your Facebook Messenger, choose Messenger. It's that simple. So once you do this, next thing to do is to choose your budget. Now, I'm not going to say so much about this. Just choose the budget you want to use, however amount you want to use, okay? So choose your budget, budget fix in your, your audience targeting. I have a lot of videos about audience targeting and all those things. So fix in your audience targeting, all right? Once that is done, then come to placement. Now, placement basically is where your advert is going to be displayed. For example, Facebook, Instagram. Do you want the advert to be on explore page? Do you want it to be on Facebook feeds? All those things, right? So choose manual placement and then you can further select places you want down here. Okay. So once that is done, click next, next, and we go to the final stage, which is the ad level, right? The ad level, just like we have done for every other thing, we're going to select the name. We're going to type in a name, test ad, right? Now, under the ad setup, what I always like to do is to choose use existing post instead of create use existing post what does that mean that means that this advert is going to use a post that is already on my instagram page or my facebook page it's that simple so i'm going to click this i'm going to select the post i want to use so select the post i want to use whether from facebook or from instagram this is facebook this is instagram so i'll choose the post i want to use then come down here it says no button right you can remove button or you can do anything you want to right you can remove button right and choose a call to action which is send message right that simple so i just remove button choose sometimes you will find the button there already okay so don't bother yourself about that so once you're done with all this this is how your advert is going to look and then you can you won't have all this on your side you're tracking all of these things you can turn them off it's not important so just publish your advert publish your advert and your advert will start running your advert will be sent for review and your advert can start running now, I'm sure this is like a whole lot. You might need to watch this video over and over again so that you can, uh, I mean, understand exactly what I just explained. It's a whole lot. Play them again, play the video again, watch the video like two, three, four times. You would understand that you'll be able to run your first advert. Okay. If this video has helped you, please leave a comment and let me know how this video has helped you. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know the videos that you want me to talk about or create so that it can help you with your ad. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope that you have gained something with this video that I just created. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you staying here this long. If you watch this video to this point, you're a real heavy MVP. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in another video.